pose an awful problem to us, but I have been surprised by way too many things to not be anxious about fighting this many damn wolf riders. So the thing about wolf riders is when you kill them, they're not actually dead. They come back as their wolf or as their goblin. So effectively, they all have, you know, a death avoidance um, roll on them. You can't just, like, smash them into the ground and kill absolutely all of them. So what we're going to try to do is just... Ooh, we also can't hit all the way down there. You see that? Like, we can't actually reach them. So, we're going to kill who we can. We're going to go with our better chances to hit. And you, 69... 69, alright, doing some work. This guy, though, Bernard, is... He's doing what he can. Alright, this guy is a war brand. He can hit both of them. So, let's hit both of them. Let's see, this 50% chance, 50% chance. Go with the injured guy. And then the wolf attacks right after him. Yeah, which is kind of shit. I'd like to have, like, a chance to bury him. What are our chances? 69. And a 76% chance to just blow him up. And let's see, what's our chance again? 67. Well, we're taking what we got. And we're actually doing not too bad. Uh, Karsten, on the other hand, we're not going to go super aggressive. We're going to try to stun and kind of keep him off of us. Because it's important that we do what we can. And this guy, I don't know what we do with Volker. Um, like, we can move him somewhere, but I don't see an advantage to that. So I don't know, um, these guys are going to circle all around us. Yeah, wow, already they're behind us. Uh, we might be able to demoralize them, but I do, I do not like that, you know, like we have the high ground with him, but he's just murdering our man down there. That's not the weapon we need up there. Seventy percent chance or sixty-two? Seventy, because seventy percent chance is better. Rip his ear off. It's a 44 or a 38. I'll well, we'll go for the higher percentage chances to hit. And I don't want to go in the hole, so we're not going to go in the hole. And Hank is going to do another big swing here. He's gotten the big swing. And he's going for the 66, and he finishes. Good job, Hank. Good job, buddy. So, what can this guy do? He can get both of them. Well, he almost got both of them. So, 57, 59. I think we gotta go for that. And he, oh yeah, we got Berserker on this guy, so... He got another shot. And Zakara, we want him to. I want him to defend, to be honest. I don't like how they're surrounding us so much. I mean, nobody would like that they're surrounding us so much. But I really don't like that they're surrounding us so much. Because we can't really get the hell up there to help our guys. 
Like, it was the right decision to throw that shield up. And we need to rotate some men up there. We've got the heavy armor. Oh, man. We're not even going to be able to throw the heavy armor up there, are we? Like, there's, there's no way to get this guy out of here. So, maybe we have to go for the Demoralize and murder one of these guys? Crap, this is just bad news bears all over this place. Because we can't get up here to help. Like, we can't even throw, like, a sacrificial lamb out there. Crap. Well. Let's see what we can do. 39 is not a good shot. It's better than nothing, though. We just can't do anything about Volker. We can at least pull you out. We can't. We can't even pull him out. Shit. Well, maybe we can murder somebody. Maybe we can murder two people. And can can you? Yeah, you can't do anything. Can you at least try to stun? You got the stun. You're doing. You're doing good work. And can you move up? No. Well, you tried. Come on, man, don't... They fucking killed him. Like, come on! What the hell were we supposed to do about this fight? They took him out, and he... He was... God. That's total crap. Like, we did what we could, but because of this battle layout, there was, like, no way for us not to lose somebody. Ah! Rest in peace, you sorry, sad person. We're gonna murder all your friends. We're gonna murder everybody you ever knew. We'll crush them with this hammer. That was an 87% chance, miss. You saw that. We have one more guy in reserve, and he's not very good. But he's better than not having a person, so we're going to have him. Not to worry. We have reserves. And you are locked in combat. Good stun, though. Good stun. Also, welcome, SOS dude. We are attempting to not suck as much as we have sucked in the past. It is going mildly better. And mildly better, I mean we're losing only one person per battle, not our entire crew per battle. So the sucking continues. There's an incredible sucking sound coming from this team, and it's just a little, it's a little quieter. Still there though. There's just still little. It's kind of like when you go to the dentist and they got that that thing they stick in your mouth. Would... And right now it's like stuck in somebody's cheek. So it's still there. This the wine is there, but it's at least it's at least having to work a little harder. <laughs> Can't get him. So obviously our axe, dudes, our axe dudes are having some problems. Well, at least they're freaked out now. We can hopefully just massacre them.
Yeah, um, I think you should try to you should try to run, Mr. Gabo. Good. So Volker is toast. We did not want Volker to die, but Volker died. That's just how that's just how it goes. Um we actually that was our mission. So we're gonna bring our guy in the back row up um and we're gonna we're gonna give him the same stuff that this guy just had, so I'm gonna give you a good hat. I'm gonna give you some good uh mail. Let's uh, actually set a lot of these things to be repaired. Oh, we got some amber shards. Excellent. Very good. Because we can buy tools, so let's buy tools. We're going to need them. And let's make sure to give you some bandages. Not that we're needing the bandages, but we could use them if we could use them. Hank the Fearless is level 10. What a monstrous person. Hank the Fearless, you are an amazing destructive force on the battlefield. You have axe mastery though. Should we give him an axe? Do we have a good axe? We do have a good axe. We have a great axe for him actually. Well damn Hank. Hank is gonna be our axe man then. So let's grab some more uh all the good things. Yes, it is definitely great axe time. I want him to run up there and just good chunk. People need to die when he attacks them. And why don't we give him executioner? No, we shouldn't. We should give him something that's really gonna mess with enemies. Cause he, Hank, Hank doesn't get hit. Like he's just kind of too good. The enemies don't attack him very often. So he needs something where he's just gonna do more freaking damage. All the time. A kill increases all damage. That would not be bad. With an offhand free, it does not work to do a weapon. So no, we can't do that. Backstabber, no. This guy just is going to kill people. That's just what he does. Which, which one of these perks is going to let him just murder, face anyone he wants? Murder. Probably just killing frenzy, I think. Yeah, we'll go with killing frenzy. We could we could go with other things, but we will go with that. So Leaf the younger, um, we're gonna give him some more defense. We're kind of trying to make him be like a duelist kind of person, but he's really not that great at it. It's kind of kind of missing a lot because you know he doesn't have that much melee skill so maybe we should kind of do a sword and board for the meantime or something with him just to make it so he doesn't get his ass murdered yeah throw a shield on him just to keep him alive all right let's head back to Damwald and finish our quest and let's pick up some tools on the way there yeah killing frenzy Plus Berserk is what, what he's got. We've already had a few of those where he just like crushes a dude and then just like crushes another dude and you're just like... Damn. Nice job, buddy. Do I have a better shield? I don't want to throw that piece of junk on, on this guy. Yeah, it's better. Let's sell some of our stuff. Let's sell this. This, 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 this. And this, this, and this. So we do not need that. We could use some of the rest of these. I don't think we don't I don't think we want that. But we could definitely sell those. So that's good. We are back up to eighty seven hundred dollars, which is Excellent. I love actually having money for once. Jesus Christ.
And are, are there any people that we really should just get on our team? There is a retired soldier, a wild man, and a sellsword. Nah, I'm not really too keen on it at the moment. Not keen on those either. So, we are going to... We're going to just go to Damwall. And we are still in the middle of the undead invasion, or whatever the hell they are. The, imp the Emperor rises. The False King will fall. And Noxezers are on the rise. Oh. We need more tools. We're going to just kind of pass by these guys. I don't think they're going to come for us because we're a little badass at the moment. But we do need more tools, so let's go buy them. Let's go get some more tools. Yeah, Hellsberg no longer has all the bad shit happening to it. These guys do have tools. They're expensive, but we need tools. Like, Christ. What's this mission? This is Obtain Prophet's Pamphlets at overgrown foundations um well let's think about it i don't think we want to do that all right we're gonna go to assisted we need more freaking tools i wish these guys just had more freaking tools come on guys let's let's do it Alright, so, patrol. That's an excellent, excellent mission for us. So, we need five tools. I'm really just waiting for all of our, our armor to come back here. Alright, good. All of our armor's back. And, we can buy some grains at least, but there's no tools. Man, you'd think there'd be more tools in a place like this. Seeing as we're here, there's at least 12, 12 tools, right? So we need to go to Heimstad for the first patrol, which is why we're heading south. Because actually we want to go attack those next Zezers if we can find them. Alright, well, there no, no next Zezers for us then. Let's go up to Heimstad and see if there's anything up there. Maybe they'll have tools in the frickin' Frisian North. The stag. Heimstad has safe roads, at least. And do they have tools? They do have at least one tool. And we have two great swords and a warbrand just in reserve. I really like that. I don't like how our guys are still frickin' injured, though. Well... Heart, heart fig, the, the Vagabond. We will not take you on. Okay. Well, we need to go to Damwald. We Damwald, though? Better go to Damwald, then. We need soldiers. Where's all the evil people I need to murder? The undead are rising! Come on, give me the undead! Where are they? Did they at least get tools while I was gone? Nope. We've been we've had a bow year since like day four, and we still haven't haven't gotten a masterwork bow out of. Them. Oh shit! Twenty five undead. Twenty five. Well. Against my better judgment, I'd kind of like to fight these guys. Oh, 
Okay. We'll see if we can do it. A plethora of biter gangers. I think this fight is just going to be a massive amount of bastards coming after us. Not necessarily like them armored and armed with very good weapons, but just them in mass being destructive. I don't like that they have this like little high ground here though. Because these guys out front are not a problem. They don't even have weapons. I mean, we're, we're really just fighting the, this line of people back here. But then we have like this mass of just trash, trash mobs in the back. So we're gonna we're gonna take our shots. Sixty-two percent. We're gonna make it. I'll. I'm okay with that. And maybe we can get, like, Hank the Fearless to run out there and be fearless and just, like, murder an entire circle of zombo Zombros. I don't know, though. I don't know. These two guys, though, these Ancient Legionnaires, the three of them, they're kind of targets numero dos. Because they can do a lot more damage than I really want to deal with. Man, just not much we can do before they come at us. There's more of them back there? There's always more of them. I just like how earlier today I was working on C++ stuff for uh, Dashkin and like just scratching my head at stupid ass vector calculations for ray casting stuff for 2D movement and I had like 10 viewers and now I have 5 and we're like actually playing a game that might be mildly entertaining. It's just like man, maybe people like it when I suffer. That's probably true. It's not, it's not the content of the channel, it's how much suffering the streamer is, is experiencing. Like really, really, that's what matters to viewers. These guys are coming up, they're forming up, they're forming a wall in front of these trash mobs. Now the question is, what exactly can we do about this? Um, I think if we whip out the pike we're going to do more damage because these guys are notoriously good at not taking damage from bows. Mm, they're forming up right behind these guys. So what can we do about that? Well, we can try to get like the basic zombies down. But I think we need to also focus down these shields. So. Yeah, you are not our damage dealer. You are. And we do want to do more damage to that guy. To these guys in the back. If we move up, we will not be able to attack. So, we're just going to wait for you. Again, don't do much. Good attacks. Um, should we break the shield or just go for an attack? 62% is not a bad attack. It's a bad attack if you miss, I guess. Good shot, Oscar. Keep that shield up up top. 24, 54. Go for the 54. We're going to have to wait with you. You need to break that shield. 
And let's see what these zombie trash mobs can do. I think move up and get some basic gum attacks. Not much else though. Because really what we're aiming for here is we need to kill this legionnaire. And we're not getting him. But... We can at least get our shield wall up with um, Bernard. And hopefully he doesn't get his butt whipped. Eighty-five, sixty-two. It's much more important that we kill this ancient legionnaire. Do we go for the shield break though? I don't not. I do not know how much. The shield break on the hammer is really good. All right, good to know. Good to know. I did not know that. And a uh, fifty-eight. Well, we have to go for these guys, so that's what we're gonna go for. Karsten is stun's probably not worth it. So we're just going to go for a highest percentage chance hit against a zombie. Crap. Leaf needs to just attack what he can. 60, 70 percent chance miss. Dang. What day are you on? Um, yeah, we're close to day 90, I think. Damn, he's got good stuff. Well, Bernard, give him a taste of their own medicine, right? Man. All right, Bernard, that was our Oscar. Nice shot, buddy. 52. Well, he's got his shield up. Come on, that's a shield with extra melee defense on it. He deserves to not lose that. That's better. Why did you go with bows over crossbows? Uh, we've got one bow, we've got one crossbow. Um... One of our guys is really good at making shots, so we gave him a bow, and one of them is not so good at making shots, but he's decent, so we gave him a crossbow. That was kind of my reasoning. Also, we had him. So, that was the other reason. Kind of take what's available, right? So, if we move here, we'll be able to get an attack on him for extreme amount of damage. We have not killed him though, which is not good. And he's gonna get an attack. Those, yeah, so we absolutely, like, numero uno, take out the ancient legionnaires. These guys are all trash, except for the ancient legionnaires. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with this. You just need to stay alive down there, buddy. You as well. So we got the stun off, which is exactly what needs to happen. Hmm, we can't get around him. But we will move and try to get basic attack off. Alright, so you... We're gonna go... Yeah, we're, we need to be aggressive with you. So we can move up once. And we got the kill. Alright, excellent. Oh, man. We just need to get these high damage dealers off of our shit at the moment. Ugh. 
those three those three high damage dealers are still on us and I just they need to die so we are going to have to have to do something about this can't move because we're not getting them so we got for higher high, highest percentage chance to kill it's not good enough this guy is just Undefended. Bernard is. Bernard's dying out there. Well, we gotta just get in there and get these guys threatened. Stay alive up there, man. Ah, we're not, we're not getting them fast enough. The seller is not the person we actually want doing a whole lot of risky stuff because he is our archer. This guy acts in seven turns. I'd rather not have him do anything super risky. And he can move an attack. Well, we'll do it. Ugh, I don't like it. They at least rotated out to threaten the hammer, which is what we needed to happen. Oh, that miss is very clutch. And we we cannot actually defend anymore with this man. Well, we're just going to wait with him then. Recover our stamina and hopefully, again, with this guy as well, be able to act first next turn and defend then. We'll see if it pays off. It's not looking like it is, though. So. Axe in seven turns. Axe in three turns. These misses are not what we need right now. Oh, no. Stay alive, buddy. He is somehow not dead, and he somehow does not also have enough to shield wall, which sucks. So we're just going to go for an attack. You are going to act in one turn. So we're going to wait with this guy. We're going to move up with him. We're going to do a double attack. We're going to get we're going to get a kill with it. And he can't at he can't attack me. We can at least kill that guy. Now these guys get to act. And he's dead. Great. Great. Fantastic. Well, let's try to make sure he's the only person who dies here. Hopefully we'll just get out of that with um, that only one guy dying. That's okay. Two up. Alright, we're gonna move over here and hopefully just murder that man. And if we move up, our greatest attack is against the Ancient Legionnaire. And we can actually do just a shatter. Swing weapon and a white arc that hits three adjacent tiles counterclockwise. Um, a target may be knocked back or staggered from the force of the blow. Be careful around your own men. So I think 
Ah, that wasn't a good hit. We're gonna have to try that a few more times and see how it works. How come he got hit? Zakar the Hammer has staggered the Ancient Legionary for one turn. Why did he hit though? Hmm, I do not know. Good shots. Ah, we weren't able to get him. Not completely. Is it him? Karsten is now running. This is not good. Okay, so we need to absolutely murder this person. We're not able to absolutely murder them. Crap, come on, guys. Fifty-eight or sixty-three? Sixty-three, it's a better chance. And we're going to try to get up here. Is there anything we can do with this man? Well, we can try to help him out. Just get in the way. And take hits for him, perhaps. Okay, so we got them down. So now all is, is those two. Can anybody do anything? You cannot. You can, but you missed. Oh, that was a very lucky withdrawal. Yeah, we can't move into that frickin' bush. Sucks. Cause there's a zombie in the bush. I think he'd stop running. We almost killed everybody. Are you shitting me? Are you absolutely shitting me? Like, how did Oscar get killed there? Oh my god. That was... That was ridiculous. The last turn, we lost Oscar. Oscar was a freaking hedge knight. He had good armor. Like, he had amazing armor and he had the height advantage and he died just died he had that helmet he had like 200 armor. And he just fucking died. How is that possible? Well, let's get somebody else on the team, because obviously hedge knights are just not very good at what they do. Hedging or knighting or whatever. God. So we need two more people. Well, let's get Wellreich, and let's get Balder, or Thorben. Thorben sounds alright. 
Let's see how good they are. Not awful, not great. And Will Reich actually has some potential here. He actually has like a decent uh, melee skill and melee skill improvement stat. Doesn't have much in the way of anything else. It's okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're in the middle of the undead invasion right now, so it's not it's not like we're not gonna lose people. We are gonna lose people. I just don't like losing the good people. It sucks. It sucks. So we got them. Hand axe looks better than hatchet. So we'll keep it. Man. Yeah. That's how it is. That's how it is, Mr. Anarchy. Gotta roll with those punches. So again, student is just so good, especially in the in the end game. The guys haven't been here forever, they just need to get better, so that's what you do. Alright, Erebold. You, sir, definitely need Brawny. We need you. We need you. Honestly, we're not really using this too much. Alright, Rumold. I'd like to give you more melee skill. You just don't seem to have the chops for it. I don't like that at all. I'd like you to actually have like a decent chance to freaking hit somebody. This is not Iron Man. This is just normal expert. Um, basically because uh, we did a, a lot of veteran Iron Man playthroughs. And we're doing pretty well. Um, just the game bugged out and like there was no end game. Like we had selected, you know make an end game and we got to day 130 and nothing happened it was just like all right guys let's just suicide in the nearest batch of goblins because i kind of wanted to play the end of the game here <coughs> so iron man is cool and all i just was a little upset about spending all those hours and, uh, not seeing you know the cool shit So we're definitely going to get Berserk and Ulfert. Ulfert. Ulfert's not bad, so we're going to get some more stuff for him. Should we specialize Ulfert in something? I think we should. I think we should get him as a frontline fighter, and we should get him with Sword Mastery. And let's throw him up here. Because he was in the back row because basically we wanted to to do things. Let's, let's give him a great sword, see what he can do with that. And the guy in the back row, well, we'll give him back the long axe. Alright, sounds, sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Noble sword. We're definitely gonna give that to you, though. This is a good sword. That's why. All right, we do have one of these ancient bladed pikes, though, and we're gonna swap that out over here because it is better than the normal pike. Fifty-five to eighty versus sixty to eighty. But it's more effective against armor. That's important. Because armor is important. We have a bunch of 130 helms, but we have better helms on our guys. 
So. We're going to sell a few things. And by a few things, I mean we're going to sell a lot of things. We do not need more food. We can always use more tools. Alright, we're doing well. It's more armor for our guys. Oh, look at that. Imperishable male hobber. Looks pretty awesome. Get some scale armor. Can anybody actually wear it? Does anybody in the front row actually have the stamina to wear something better? This is the real question. The, the answer is no. They don't have any freaking chance to wear anything better. Damn, Rumald has got some awesome stats. That's because he's freaking strong. So we'll throw him on the outside. We get some better helmets though at least, right? Closed flat tops. Oh, look at that. Closed flat top with mail. 280. Jesus. We don't have the stamina to wear it. So we can't we can't grab it. Yeah, heraldic mail. I know. We need it. But we just don't have the money for it. Well, we don't have the money for it, we don't have the money for it. We're just poor, broke saps. We are, on the other hand, going to actually, yeah, let's get our guys kind of healed up a little bit. Let's see if we got any quests here. Um, how many crowns? Deliver cargo to get hard in the southeast. Alright, let's let's go do that. So where is Gebhard the Elder and Trojan? Trojan's all the way down there. So let's go run down to Trojan. Thorben has always been a bit tight on how much he eats. You're not sure if it's part of a religious rite or a sense of duty and he's just not a big eater. Regardless, lack of food is weakening the man. Let's sit him down with a nice Helping of bacon. Ordering the man to eat, he does as he's told. At first he seems rather reluctant, but after a few bites he just dives in, engorging himself. Good job, man. You have enjoyed eating cheeseburgers. Five brigands! Well, let's just go wreck their faces. Come on, guys. There's no way you're getting away with this. Five of you bastards. No. You die. Oh god, watch them kill Ulfert in the first turn. What is this? We've got just like Mr. Brigham Marksman in the back here, and he's taking no shit from nobody. Ulfert, dude, buddy, get out of here. We don't need you for this. Yeah, Torleaf with his just not give a damn helmet he doesn't care about you he doesn't care about anything two and change can't can't get the attack but next turn you're toast man you're toast Toast like actual toast. There we go. I was wondering how long that guy would last. I 
really like Hank's armor. He's got some awesome scale mail on. And there's like just badass freaking axe. That Rumald does not look like he cares. 44, 40, that's a 64% chance. Well, we'll go for that. Was that your head? That was your head, wasn't it? I'm sorry about that. I, did I not tell him? Go for the stun. We're gonna miss, but that's fine. That is totally fine. Well, we're not gonna be able to hit their archer, but well, that's just how it is. Well, at least he can't kill freaking Ulfert. Why, God? That's what you should be asking yourself right about now. Ooh. Yeah. Can we... Yeah, we can break his shield. Oh, he's still got some more life left in his shield. Well... This guy's a jerk. This guy is a jerk. This one guy, this one guy is gonna hold out this whole time against all of my forces. Now you're dead. Oh god. Fractured elbow. Near death. There you go. Get destroyed, sir. They had pretty good gear for being worthless. Let's get out of here. Let's see if we leveled up. Nope. Nobody leveled up. Let's check our armor though. Uh, 130. So we'll throw that with a, that, that hat, which is a better hat. We always want better hats for our men. That's what games are about. Better hats. Better hats for everybody. We are being attacked by next Zezers as far as I saw. How many though? 14. 14 next Zezers. Well. I don't like the odds. But we're not in a bad formation. The archers are almost in the middle. Um, it's not awful. Like I've had awful and this is not awful. Yeah, you're still not repaired though, so we're gonna try to send you out a little bit farther to the north. Yeah, we'll get you up there. That's a better spot for you. And you, we're gonna send you over here because Hank the Fearless has some awesome shit on him. You, you can do some damage. So if there are twelve, if there are thirteen of them, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
I'm looking for six more on the other side here. So we can't just, like, rule out that they're going to come from the south. And you can't even move. Should we send it? Is a car the hammer over to the right? I think we should send it to the right. You, though, we'll send you there. That was a wonderful 26% chance to hit. Yeah, Anarchy, the woods are awful. And mainly just because... It's such a difficult place to fight. Like, most of the time you're like, come on, let me get my guys in position. And you're just like swinging at some dude with a shield wall for 20 minutes. And you're like, just... Just come on. Die already. Either either kill me or you die or something. Please, for the love of Christ. Oh, he fucking ate him. Okay, that's 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 bad. That's really bad. Shit. That is not what I expected to happen. That is not what I wanted to happen. That is not anything close to what should have happened. He ate my best dude. You piece of crap. We're angry. We are angry now. We're not going to forgive or forget this thing. Not at all. You rat bastard motherfuckers. We'll get you. We will get you. Come on, that was a bullshit attack. Oh, we just can't even attack those guys. Can't do it. We can't do it. Crap. Not good. How in the hell are we even going to rotate this guy in or out? We're, we're, we're screwed, aren't we? We just can't even get our guys in there to do anything. We barely attack our own faces at this point. I can't do anything. I can't move up. I can't.